Right, so I thought that actually me just rambling on about what I think people should and shouldn't do isn't the right message. So I need to kind of explain what I mean. And also, I never ever give advice unless I take it myself or I look back at my past and think, actually, I made a mistake here, here and here. Let me explain why they were mistakes and move forward, right? So listen to this. Here's how I believe or here's how I would tell my 20 year old self to release music, right? going against what I've actually done in the last five years. Even though it may have been a success, I made life difficult for myself, very difficult for myself actually. For a few years, or however, however, however you put out music or however you create music, right? For me particularly, I need a solid year. Go dark for a whole year and find your own sound, right? That's the, that's the, I think that's the most important thing is to find out your sound and also find out how many songs you have in you in one year, right? Because then that will determine your output. That determines how much you will give to the world. And the worst thing anyone can do is put out a good record or an okay record or even a hot record and then not follow it up with anything, which is what I've done time in, time out, which has pissed me off to high heaven, right? So what I would do, or what I tell myself to do now, is go dark for a whole year and create, if I was a new artist, create five EPs. Five EPs is equal to one single as a new artist. You've got to drop that shit twice Right, actually you've got to drop that once every two months. If you drop something hot once every two months for a whole year as in an EP form, two or more tracks, that is the perfect start for any new artist coming up. And that's what I didn't do when I was coming through the game. I would always find one record that I would think is hot and then I would run with it. Only to find out that I'll, that did really well and now I've got a tour and now I don't have time to get back in the studio. It's the biggest, biggest mistake that I've made in my career and I'm trying to rectify that by not doing it anymore. So this year, even as disciples, we're getting our music together now before summer gets crazy so we have all of our assets in place. Okay? As a new artist, that's even more important because what it does is it allows people to realise, oh, actually you're a serious artist, you're actually releasing consistently and it's consistency in this day and age over quality. Back in the day you could release one single and that would blow up and that'd be a whole year touring. Now, you've got to consistently release and not worry too much about quality because quality is actually subjective, right? I might find something really good and you might hate it or think it sucks. It's completely subjective. Actually, the only thing that is good and bad is a good and bad mix. So you can have a bad mix of a song. You can have um, the sound quality is terrible. You can have a bad note, you can hit a wrong note. Those are things that are obviously bad and good. Everything else is completely subjective, so why be a slave to that? Just release consistently good music. How do you release? We'll have to show you that in another video.